Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, and today we're going to do our lesson number two about foods. And this time we're going to be talking about food from the ocean. So the big picture and the big word for today is ocean. Let me hear you. Good job. Everybody says ocean. Now, during this book, we're going to learn or we're going to remember actually some of the names of foods that we learned when you were in class. And those are things that people can get from the ocean. They can get it from lakes, from rivers, uh, and from the sea. But this book is particularly talking about oceans. And an ocean is the largest piece of water that you can actually find in the world. Okay. So we're going to start with the title. And the title of the page says, if you can help me to read with me, we're going to read it together. Now, let's go to the first word first. We have two times the letter O, and together they say OO. So we're going to say food, which means very good. That's food. And the next word is one of the side words that we should know by now, everybody. What is this word? Yes, that's the word from. And the next one? the or some people say the and the last word in our title also in a capital letter is the word ocean start with a big letter o so let's read the title together one two and three food for sorry i want to start over i made a mistake right i was trying to read too fast let's do it again okay everybody listen to me first and then we're going to do it together are you ready Okay, food from the ocean. Very good. Now you're going to do it by yourself. Ready? One, two, three, go. Good job. Let's go to the next page and we're going to talk about this first picture. So, what do you see in this picture? Yes, who likes to eat that? I do. So, that's shrimp. Everybody say, shrimp good job and we have two sentences in this book uh, i know that we have two sentences because every sentence at the end is going to have some punctuation and remember that punctuation is what we put at the end to tell people that the sentence is over or it finishes and we can use a period a capital letter or we can also use an exclamation mark in this case, we have pitch, uh, sorry, we have periods. And we actually have how many periods? Two periods. And so if you have two periods, that's telling you that you have two sentences. Uh, let's see the first word. First, I want to look at the word ocean. And I'm now going around the word ocean. Everybody say ocean. Good job. So first sentence has a capital letter. Because remember, friends, if you are writing a sentence or if you are, when you are reading, you will see that every sentence begins with a capital letter. In this case, we have the word people. So we're going to read it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. People eat shrimp. Sentence number two. Shrimp comes from the ocean. Let's look at the word comes. Um, okay, so this page says, people eat shrimp. Shrimp comes from the ocean, okay? Raise your hand if you like oceans. The water, the beach, do you like the beach? Okay, well, we can find those if you are fishing. Let's see what else we're gonna see. Now remember, today, like yesterday, we're gonna create a sequence. So what happens first in the book, what happened next, what happened at the end? The first thing we see in this book is, what is the picture about? Shrimp. All right, let's go to the next picture. Pa page number three has how many sentences? Very good. It has two sentences. And I know that because I have one and two periods. Okay, what are these? Very good. I think somebody said it. Those are clams. So we're going to read our sentence. But before that, who likes to eat clams? Do you? 
Not me. I don't like clams, but that's okay. Let's read. If you're ready, I want to hear you. One, two, three, and go. People eat clams. Clams come from the ocean. Very good. So this is the picture of the clam. So first, we can find in the ocean, yes, shrimp. And number two, or second, now you can find what is in the picture, clams. Let's go to the next one. The next picture is, ah, I heard like three people or four people saying super fast and super loud, lobster. Raise your hand if you like to eat lobster. Good job. Well, not me. I don't like lobster, but that's okay. So picture number three is going to be lobster. I'm going to find the word lobster in the story. It starts with the O, letter L, and it's right here. Lob, lobsters. Lobsters. So this, this word here, it says lobsters with an S because it's in plural. It means many. So we're going to read the sentence. If you can get ready, when I say three, one, two, three. People eat lobsters. Lobsters come from the ocean. It means that they live where? Where do the lobsters live? Very good. They live in the water. Okay, so number one in the story we have, nobody remember? Yes, remember little ones, orange? Yes, shrimp. Then we have number two, they have a shell and they, clams. Very good, it's number two. And number three, we have lobster, okay? And look at the lobster, they have those arms to nip, nip, nip. Okay, let's move on. What is next in the story today? Oh, those are what? Very good, this is fish. Some of these fish can be a little tiny, small, and we learn a specific word for those small ones, and they are called sardines. Can you say sardines? Good job. Okay. In the story, the story doesn't say sardines, but we know that specific word. Okay. So we're ready because this is what? Very good. This is fish. Let's put our finger on the word people, and we're using my mouse for that, and we say, and we're going to read it together, okay? Ready to read with me? One, two, three. People eat small fish. Small fish come from the ocean. So where do they live? In the ocean. Very good. And these are small fish. Good job. Who likes fish? Yeah, me too. I like fish. Let's go to the next spec page. I'm gonna turn it for you. And now this is not a small fish, right guys? This is a large, really, really large. But I don't think the book says large. The book actually says big. And I'm gonna point at the word big. B -i -g, big. Okay, are you ready to read? How about if this time, I'm going to read it for you and you listen. Are you ready? Listen to Mr. Solano reading for you. People eat big fish. Big fish come from the ocean. Now, I'm going to be quiet and you guys, you all, are going to read the page for me. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to be quiet and you read. One, two, three. Very good. Let's do it together. One, two, three. People eat big fish. Big fish come from the ocean. Good job. And let's go to our next page. And the next page is, this one is new for you. We never, we didn't learn this word in the class, but we're gonna learn it today. And I'm gonna find it right here with the letter M, two times actually, letter M. Everybody say muscles. Yeah, those are muscles. Okay, so we're gonna read this one. They looks like clams, but
but the clams have two shells to cover. These ones actually have only one shell. So everybody read with me. One, two, three. People eat mussels. Mussels come from the ocean. And remember that the important word today in this story is ocean, which is water, lakes, rivers, sea, and oceans. All right. Very good. And then the new word today is mussels. And if you don't remember, later you're going to sue, sorry, later you're going to see the lesson number two in Spanish. And I'm going to show you what's the name for that in Spanish. Okay. So those are the mussels. Let me move the page. And here we have all the products, all the animals that we can get from the ocean that we actually eat. Everybody help me. Shrimp. Mm. Big fish. Mm. Clams. Lobster. Small fish or sardines. And the last thing is mussels. And the sentence, because we have only one sentence down here. Why I know it's one sentence? Because I only see one punctuation. I see a period, only one. That tells me we have only one sentence. And we're going to read it together when we say three. One, two, three. People eat many foods from the ocean. I'm going to read it one time and you read after me. So listen to Mr. Solano reading the sentence. Ready? People eat many foods from the ocean. Now it's your turn. Ready? I'm going to be quiet. You do it. Very good. So these are the things that people eat from the oceans. And we're going to see. So what is the first thing that they show in the picture? It's over there. Can you see it? Can you find it? Yes. Shrimp. What is the last thing they show? The mussels. Good job. Well, thank you for being with me in this lesson about food from the ocean. And I'll see you later for our lesson number two, the bilingual lesson about food from the ocean. See you later.